Hi there, it's Kim Denny from Yin Inspired, and today I'm going to give you some basic tips on stringing your own soccer ball plaque. Now, any of my designs can be purchased strung by me, so you can get them completed. Or if you want to string it yourself, kit, you, it, it will come. It will come to you with the wood already painted, the nails in, and if you had any vinyl text, that'll already be applied as well. So to get started, you just take your string, and I already tied it on. You can tie it onto any nail. It doesn't matter where you start. One of my best tips for you is when you are tying your string, leave a nice long tail. It makes it much easier to tie. So all I did was tie two times around this nail, and we have a little knot to get us started. Okay, so I always drop my string on the floor. I find it's easier to work that way. Even if I'm sitting at the table, I just drop it down on the floor so it's out of the way. And then what you do is you're going to outline your shape just by going around the outer edge. Now, I'm using yellow string here. This soccer ball is going to be yellow and blue. So um, the yellow is going to take the place of white, and then I'm going to use blue where the black would normally be. So to go ahead and string, all you're going to do now is just randomly go from any nail to any nail inside this big circle. And you're just gonna cross over the nails that are in the middle. You can basically just ignore them and just keep pretending like you have a crayon in your hand and you're scribbling inside the big circle. So you're scribbling inside the lines. Once you have a layer completed, which means you've hit each nail about one time, and that doesn't have to be exact if you hit some of the nails more than once that's fine if you skip some nails that's fine because you're going to create several layers so don't worry about it you don't have to be perfect and there's really no right or wrong way to do this once you have a layer completed you're going to take your fingers and you're going to gently press down on your string so that it moves down closer to the wood so you have room to build the next layer now with these nails in between that are in the middle here you might need to you know kind of finesse your string so it makes its way around those nails and there we go we're just going to push it down gently okay and then we're going to repeat that whole process again so you're going to just outline along the outer edge and with it one circle that makes it super easy and then do your random 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 on the inside you'll do about three or four layers of that until it's as thick as you would like it to be then we're going to switch our string so to tie off this string We'll go back to that nail where we originally tied on, do a loop-de-loop -loop around that nail. That's a very technical term. Here's your loop-de-loop. -loop. You just go around the nail so it kind of holds on. Grab your scissors and cut that long string. Like I said, it makes it easier to tie your knot. And then you could just tie these two strings together. So let's see if I can do it so you can see here. We're going to tie it once and then tie it again. And that's going to make your knot. And then you can leave these long strings hang. You'll get rid of those at the end. But there you go. You have a basic knot. So this would have been a little bit more full if we had completed three or four actual layers. But for the time of the video, we're going to leave it like this. Then I'm going to take my contrast string. So you might be using black. In this case, like I said, we're using blue. And we're going to tie it on. Now you're going to want to look at the picture of the soccer ball to make it easier for you to see which sections should be the contrast color and which ones you're going to leave either white or yellow or whatever color you're using so i know that this little section right here is going to be the first section that i'm going to make blue so i'm going to outline that little section and then i'm just going to repeat the same steps and that was doing the random and creating a layer and then we'll push it down a little bit and then outline again and create another layer, probably three or four layers on there. So we'll pretend that that's done. By looking at the picture, you'll see which section you want to go to next. And you just follow along the nails. So I just followed right along the edge of the nails to get to the next section that's going to be blue. I'll outline that. And then the same steps again, just random inside the lines until it's as full as you'd like it to be. Outlining, random, push down, outlining, random, push down, probably three or four layers until it's as dense as you would like it to be. And like I said, it would be more dense like that if we completed it, but just for the sake of the video time, we'll just you know show you the basics here. 
Okay, so let's pretend we have all of our spaces that are supposed to be blue completed. They're all as full as we'd like them to be. And now we're going to finish off. So to finish off the edges, what you want to do is you're going to loop around two nails two times. So one, two, and then the next two, one, two, and then the next two, one, two, and we'll come along the outer edge here. So you're just going around two nails two times all the way around those sections that you've completed. Now you're also going to want to do the fill, the lines that connect them. So as we go here, we would go, you know, loop around these two nails twice, these two nails twice, these two nails twice. So it will create that outline that you need um, in the in the contrast color. So you know we would be going around these ones, and you just keep working your way around. So basically, it's just here to show you the technique. You'll follow the picture to see which nails actually to do, and then your soccer ball will start to come together. Once you're done doing that border, you know, the looping around every two nails twice, and if it helps you to think about it this way, if this is nail A and this is nail B, you loop A and B two times, and then B and C two times, and then C and D two times, and keep working your way around. Once you're finished, cut your long tail, tie it to your starting string if you're on the same nail. If you're not on the same nail, just cut that long string do a loop-de-loop -loop and then tie it on to that whatever, wherever nail you are to finish. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message through my Facebook page. The page is um, written out in the description of this video. You can look for more projects on that page. You can find more projects on my Etsy page. But um, I would love to see your completed project too. So if you want to snap a picture and share it on the Facebook page, that would be great. Have fun creating your soccer ball. Bye-bye.